So, uh, the first one you you did the first one. You you know when your withdrawing amount is greater than your balance, you are able to throw the exception. You are able to detect detect the error error. But we didn't do anything, and we're going to move on to do this. We're going to catch exception. So, so every exception should be handled somewhere in your program. We want to in in our program. We want to handle that. So if an exception has no handler, a error message is printed like what we did, and your program terminated like our first program. Of course, such an Unhandled exception is confusing to program user. The first one saying, "Hey, what's that? It terminated." Your handle exception with the try and error statement. So you are going to do try and error instead of throw. You want to do try and error. So this time is try and error. It's okay. And the try block contains one or more statement that. May cause an exception of the kind you are willing to handle. So right here, the newer type of the thing here uh, is、uh, more advanced. is called try catch. So we so you know you are going to read the file. Okay, so the line you read the file and process this year, you going to. You know, enclose them into a try, try closet. So try. And we know some error will be like this, IO exception, and that's a class called IO exception. And you going to create object called exception. And system dot out dot print could not open the input file. And this will be any other file. Will be any other file. And get other message, okay? So what we do is this: we do try, catch, and the arrow maybe have more than one and two. So we ask you to download these two file right now. Download these two file, test one dot txt. Can you download these two file? Then we're going to take this to pr second program right now. Is that okay? Please. All right, so everybody, you are ready right now, okay? <clears throat> All right. So once you are ready, and we are going to start it. Is okay?、Mm. All right. So I'm going to uh start it right away. Is okay? Did you download the file already? All right. So the text file you hear, you saw the text file. All right. So once you download the text file, you saw the text file is seventeen, twenty nine, zero, and forty two. That's the text file you going to see. Download it. Is that right? All right. So here. We read this file. We, our our、uh, error message is not about this. Our message try here. We're not going to check the file. We also check. We also check whether we have next integer. We check our next integer. All right. So, is zero an integer? Is zero an integer or not? No. So zero is not an integer. So there's a number format exception. So for these, we may have a two. We may we may detect two mistake. We may detect two mistake. Number one mistake we may detect is the、uh, input file. Okay, I/O exception. I/O exception. So 
you know, the input file, no input file, or wrong name, okay? That's number one, you may detect. Number two, number two, you may detect is, you may detect a, a, a number, number format, number format exception. That's maybe. The number format exception will be like this. We ask you to read integer because only integer here, I read integer. Remember um, the, the uh, number we read them, okay? The number we read them, uh, we put a string, okay? This is string here. So we have to parse in. So may, remember this part, this part you need to remember right now. So the reason we have to parse in because we read a string, we read a string. The 17, 17 looks like a number because, but it's a string. So I have to parse in, make that to an integer, and I'm going to add it. But the zero, I cannot do that. So I'm expecting one error right here. So okay, so that's run it right now. So I'm going to click all, then I'm going to minimize this <coughs> and run this program with you. So I'm going to run as a Java application. When I run them, then I got for input string zero. Okay, then, uh, then here, if you go to your output text exe here, and, uh, hold on. and then you will be able to see we cannot do it right now. You understand? So, because it tell you, all right, you tell you the program. So we catch a pro program right now. It's the, uh, for the input string zero, okay? So that's an error message we were able to catch. All right, that's an error message we were able to catch. That's your number two program. That's your number two program. You still be able to ask you this and you can catch the mistake and you stop right there. You stop right there. All right. So the way you do this is called a uh, try and error, try and error. Okay. So now you learn another uh, technique to detect error and handle this right now. So I hope you like this uh, project.